that before they were coming giving the scores here just now. <laughs> hey, this is a formal occasion, honey. If you can't just stand up and come like a chut, man. <laughs> I mean, it's only a soccer match. What the hell? <laughs> and any Liverpool supporters here tonight? Yeah! Well, <laughs> you'll never walk alone. You walk with your mother. <laughs> no, no, I'm a Liverpool supporter too, Prem. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah? No, 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 we've been uh, our lives. <laughs> now it's our turn. <laughs> no, don't worry, don't worry, guys. The Vitos can't do us anything anymore. They can't shit on us anymore. They can't finish our lives. We got the ANC to do that for us now. <laughs> All right. Any brainos here tonight? Brainos? Well, where's a braino? Oh, first time I'm seeing such a cute braino. <laughs> yeah. You know, brainos are dangerous, though, huh? Yeah. Because I'll just test and check, right? I'll just check and see. Because usually if you say what kind, only a bra braino can. Can, can respond with something special. Do you know it? Right, let me let me try. What kind? Hey, there you go. But they don't say it like a <laughs> They tune with style. You know what I'm saying? They say awe. <laughs> all right, you gotta try that. You gotta try that. Let's all pretend to be brainos tonight, okay? Okay. Yeah, we can get lucky and on later. <laughs> What kind? Aware. Yeah, the brainers have to be aware of the dogs <laughs> and the police. <laughs> no, great stuff. Nice to see a, a young, handsome looking braino. Nice place, Ladoa, nice place. <laughs> nothing has changed in Chatsworth for the last 30 years. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You know, development comes there last, the drugs come there first. <laughs> Yeah, sweet people, sugars. <laughs> Any uh, Tamilos here tonight? Yeah. You yeah. yeah? You fasting? Yeah. That's why you're blowing so much air. <laughs> hey, Tamilos, unfortunately, see, you must only eat bhajia, the pelidu one and all that. See the sausage and all? Yeah, I don't have. Put your pocket. <laughs> Two weeks time, you must chow it. <laughs> Uh, like, uh, wait, where's the, where's the Tamilos? I can't see them put the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're laughing, eh? You're laughing. What about, <laughs> any Bredos in the house? Oh. Your bloody chodos. <laughs> Time, keep you all out for me. Is it true that Bredos are the meanest, stingiest mockeries ever? <laughs> Is it true? Yes, yes, you're right. You're right, they are stingy. Ask me. I know. I'm a brero. <laughs> because even this one was a brero. But he never gave you party that time. <laughs> you see what I mean? You check. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It's lovely to be with all of you. Yellows are the morrows. The Indian people are doing great in life, they, they're prospering in professional bases, they are doing well in business, they're even doing well in sport. Yeah, we had our very own cricket captain, Hashim Amla. Anybody know about him? Yeah, Hashim. El, one day he's from, he's from around here. One day I was passing in, uh, in my car and I checked, this so is Hashim, man, I hope my window, I reckon, hey, Ash. How's it? You reckon, hello? I reckon, hey. Answer me this question, how do you keep your beard growing so nicely? He said, ah, oh, how you use Hamla, eh? <laughs> South Africa are playing, India, only Indians are playing. <laughs> it's crazy, it's one sport a charo will never play. Rugby. Rugby. <laughs> I'll tell you why, because a charo will put, no, no, no. A charo will never put his head up another nose those backside. <laughs> Unless it's for a promotion. <laughs> then you know you put it very deep. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any land is back here, you know how it is. Yeah, you know, you know how you got there. <laughs> yeah. That, oh, whoa. <laughs> Well, Johannesburg is a very different cosmopolitan area. Unfortunately, in Durban, the Charles, we don't talk like you guys. We talk in a very, very, very simple, we call it talking with an economy of words. So we don't waste words. For example, you people will say something like, what is your name, please? We come to you and go directly, what's your name? Simple to the point. Where are you going? We, where are you going? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and here you are. No, it's too many words. We, how are? There you are, how are? Sometimes like, like even two words are, are two words too many. Charles, we don't like, never mind. <laughs> Hey, you spend some time with Charles, I can see, huh? <laughs> with Prem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even, like, even one word can be one word too many, like, give. Give. <laughs> yeah, and then, you understand? Yeah, 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 you people, you make pickle. Oh, but nowadays, you must be buying pickle. <laughs> no, Charles don't buy pickle, they put pickle. They put oil, they put the masala, they put the mango, then they put in the mouth. <laughs> we put lottery. You put lottery. No, you don't put lottery, okay. We put eyes. Yeah, yeah. And one word, put, can have many meanings. Like the charos in my area there. They stand by the road and they see a bad looking old coming and they can see that shit oh, like Hanif. <laughs> I like to put for him. <laughs> they see a nice, good-looking woman walking down the ring and they think they are like to put for her. <laughs> That's how it is. You're African, no, ma'am? That's the one. You're, you look like you're wearing a wig. <laughs> is that your normal hair? Can I borrow it? <laughs> Now, Afrikaners, when they speak, like they have, when they want to emphasize a word, they have a special uh, uh, a word for that, like this. It's called an intensiver forum. Yeah, yeah, you know that. Yeah, you in school, eh? <laughs> All right, I'm going to test you. I'm te so if something is like, 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 you know, you have this thing and they've got a stronger form of that word, like, like, bang. Intensiver forum. Break bang. God, buy a bang. Hey, you must go back to your... Go back to your school. Ask him to return all your school fees because you learned shit, man. Do it, man. Hey, you look, you look like you're a principal of the school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fain. Break fain. Break fain. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, things like that, you know? Yeah. Indian people. They don't have intensive for them. They just repeat the word big, big, big. Small, small, small. Seriously. <laughs> the other day, my wife is looking out the window. She's saying, whoa, whoa, the neighbors are getting very rich for four cars they got. Up till today, I don't know whether they got four cars Eight cars or one four by four cars? <laughs> hey, Nandi. I'm saying, yeah, I'm positive now. I'm gonna get these potatoes. She comes to me, can I help you, sir? I said, yes, this is a story I want to, like, it must cook, like, soft, soft. <laughs> she says, don't worry, we know, man. <laughs> this is, a, it's called up to date. <laughs> you take this one, yeah. I went home and I bought some tomatoes as well. Brought the potatoes. My wife was very pleased. Oh, nice big, big potatoes you bought. But why you brought this small, small tomatoes? You're crazy the other day. You were looking at me and thinking, if this guy is here, who is watching our cars? <laughs> so I was really excited when they said, you know, all the good looking people must stand up. I was like, hey, tonight's my night off. <laughs> so I was raised by a Telugu family. True story. I, are there any Telugus here? Yeah. 
Really? They are actually Telugus? First of all, I want to say, it seems like there's too many Telugus in one function. Last time I checked, there was only like three left. <laughs> so I need to know if you guys are real Telugu. And your father is Telugu, you're not Telugu. Even if your mother is Telugu and your father is Tamil, you are still not Telugu. You are coloured. <laughs> so yes, um, for those of you who are still thrown, this is what I actually sound like. This is my voice. Uh, I was raised by a Telugu family from Reservoir Hills. Anyone from Reservoir Hills here? Hey, Laka, I was a little posy. Okay, sorted. Shannon Drive. Okay, now leave it on a walk. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I raised by an Indian family from Reservoir Hills. I'm gonna share with this with you, right? Because recently I was doing some home. She's a radio, was a radio journalist, currently on carte blanche. Um, you know, a real woman of uh, inspiration. But everyone only remembers her for the way she used to cut the people off on Lotus. <laughs> you say something she doesn't like, she'll just cut you off. Right? If she was a circumcision specialist, she could cut you with your brief on. <laughs> Next was Surisha Naidu. Surisha Naidu, another woman of influence, socialite, business lady, but everyone remembers her for one thing, her fairness cream. And everyone says the same thing. They're like, you know Surisha wasn't so fair before. <laughs> hey, if someone is dark and they want to be fair, leave them. Vitos are fair, but they sit in suntan. They all don't say nothing. Surisha is like an Indian latte. But if there's anyone that should be using Surisha's famous cream more than anyone, <laughs> you've got bad behavior. But Logi and I do. Logi and I do. Former deputy mayor, now quite the socialite. You know, you see him singing and doing comedy. But everyone says the same thing about Logi. Hey, that fellow is dark, huh? <laughs> Even black people, black people are like, oh, that guy is dark. <laughs> he is so dark, he's almost pepul. <laughs> Did you know Logi Naidu was going to be cast in the movie Black Panther? <laughs> they were going to call the movie. Panther. <laughs> you know, in my family, it's so crazy. If you are fair, life is sorted for you. Life is good, you know. Even my mother, my mother will always pick on me and says, you know what, Senzo, dark feeling like you, you must find yourself a nice fair girl. And I thought, hey, that's a great idea. So that's what I did. I found myself a nice fair girl. And my mom was thrilled. She was bragging to the family. Ooh, you must see Senzo's girl. What a fair, fair girl he's got. But I wonder, is the same said about me at my girlfriend's house? <laughs> I, are they saying, ooh, you must meet my daughter's boyfriend? What a dark, dark fellow she was. <laughs> but no, seriously, seriously, I recently went to a Hindi wedding. And I went to a Hindi wedding for two reasons. The first reason was I heard that Hindi weddings are really long. True or false? Yeah. Right? The Hindi weddings are like three hours. Right? But the second reason I want you to go to a Hindi wedding, I heard there'll be some fair bread stickies there. And I've been watching the trend. Fair bread stickies like dark porridges. Because you know what they say? The darker the fruit, the sweeter the juice. So I must be overripe, right? But no, serious, you know, it was so crazy. An all Indian school, right? So you can imagine if anything had to go missing. I didn't say me. Okay, me. <laughs> right? So one day there was a child that had lost 50 rand, and the teacher was addressing the whole class, but looking at me only. And she said, Children, there is a child that lost 50 rand. If you've seen it, please place it on my desk quietly. You won't get in trouble. Uh, Senzo, although I'm looking at you, I'm talking to everyone. <laughs> so I got worried. I thought that maybe I did take it. But I learned later on, the child didn't lose 50 rand. The child forgot the money at home. 
So the next time this child brought money, I stole it. <laughs> so my family are really crazy, they're really funny. The aunties came up to me, said so! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm having a wonderful time here, Prem. Um, all right, now Kamsala mentioned the Kandasami movie, but before I go on to that, every time I come to a party, every time I get on stage, the main thing I want to do is to warn you that women have been placed on this earth to ruin our lives, right, guys? Yes. Hey, eh? why your fro is making you shout no? What you so script? I will approve it. I'll prove it. I'll prove it. All the happily married men in the house stand up. Look like of about 200. And he stood up because the fro gave him a clap on the side. That's fine. I'm a potter like you, bro. That's my life. I'm a potter in the movie. I'm a potter by the posy. At least in a movie, I got paid. <laughs> right? Because women, they, they just like, wives got this way. It's like, it's like they, they look at you and their mind will, you can see their mind changing. And you know you're in trouble. Like we go to lots of weddings, right? We go to lots of weddings. And uh, on Friday, my wife will choose a sari and a blouse. Then she'll take the sari and the blouse, she'll give it to the maid, the maid will iron it, everything sorted out. Then Saturday night she goes to sleep. I don't know what happens in a dream, in her head. Something just snaps. Because she gets up Sunday morning, she looks at the sari, now she don't like it. So now I have to choose another sari for her. And you know I choose? You know the two built-in cupboards, the two doors right in the top, where all your saris are just stuffed in there. I go and open it, whichever sari falls out, hit me on the head, I take that one. So now she got the sari. Maid is not there. Who else do I need? Potter. Have you guys ever ironed a sari? The sari is like 20 meters long. The ironing board is half a meter. So here you are. You're ironing the one side, then you move it. Ironing next side, you move it. Ironing. As that bloody rubbish thing is going, the bottom is getting creased. <laughs> now it's 10 o'clock, the wedding is half past 10. I'm ironing, ironing, ironing quickly. I take it to her, I said, hurry up, I'm dressed, I've got my suit and all that. I take it to her, I said, come on, put the sari on, we're going to be late. She said, no, I can't wear that sari because the blouse don't match. <laughs> then she chooses a blouse she last wore in standard four. <laughs> It doesn't fit. But she said, no, it'll fit. I said, it's not gonna fit. She said, it'll fit. Put it on. So she puts it on. Then she said, put the hook and I. One meter gap. <laughs> she says, it'll fit. I said, it's not gonna fit. You're a stupid idiot. In my head, I'm saying that. <laughs> In reality, I'm saying, it's not fitting, love. <laughs> Then she said, doesn't matter, pull. I'm pulling, I said, breathe in your mockery. In my head. In reality, I'm saying, please breathe, baby, breathe. And I'm pulling, and she's breathing in, and I'm pulling, and breathing, doesn't matter. Imagine I'm a WWE wrestler. I take her on the floor, Pah! put my knees on her back, Pah! Well, I managed to get it. It fits. She said, see, it fitted. <laughs> then I said, right, get up. Now the blouse is so tight. She gets up, she's walking like this. <laughs> it can't fit. Managed to get the sari on. And then because the blouse is so tight, now she got a back cleavage. <laughs> We're walking down the aisle. I'm walking behind her. I don't know whether she's walking backwards or forward. <laughs> Beige. I'm only wearing black. <laughs> They're all wearing beige today. <laughs> My wife got this beige underwear. Old. Elastic and all, it's stretched. Put in the washing machine, got that fluff on it. 
but she wears it because it's comfortable. But when we're going out, then she got this lycra one, like cycle shorts. This panty, it starts here, it ends there. To keep everything in, keep everything in, looking so thin at Prem's party. And after Prem's party, you go home, she take a dress off, she come on, I'm ready. I'm looking at that lycra underwear, I think, oh my God. Then she said, come on, take it out. I start. Firstly, I can't get my hand in. It's so tight. I'm sweating. I'm pulling. Then I manage to get it. I start pulling. Pulling is like I'm in the gym now. I'm pulling. Pulling, the thing snaps back. Bah! Hit me in my eye. Panty injury. So I said, okay, the only next best thing to do now to get it off is to roll it. So I, like a mat, you know, like this carpet. I'm rolling and rolling. It's getting closer and closer. Rolling, rolling. As I go past, a stomach pops out. Bah! My tooth gets loose. JD, JD, how are you? Don't lie, you look finished. <laughs> like your wife knew, JD, and all the women here, they knew they were going to marry you five years before they even saw you. They just saw you in the dream. And you notice something, look at your husbands. I heard it too, but I'm scriptified, so I close my eyes tighter. <laughs> then the noise goes again, then the elbow starts talking. <laughs> Kobe! Kobe! I start snoring loudly, I don't want to open my eyes. I don't want to get up, because I'm dreaming that my wife's family is traveling on the Titanic. <laughs> If I get up, they get saved. <laughs> Kubi. Then she says, Kubi Ashin. When they hit your full name, you know you're in shit. <laughs> right? I still don't say anything. Then she says, she asks me a question. Are you sleeping? <laughs> like a chitya, I say yes. <laughs> she says, there's a noise outside. I married you for protection. Go and see who it is. So I get up slowly. I'm walking out now. I'm going to give out a secret about us chados. Us Indian men, when we go to sleep, we don't wear saris. <laughs> Not naked, ma. <laughs> we wear old shorts. Because your mother said, don't throw anything away. <laughs> right? Old torn pants. Because Indian men, we only buy pajamas when we're going to hospital. If she buys you a gown, you're not coming back. So I'm wearing his old pajamas, the torn t-shirt, torn underdown, got my wife's dye all over the thing. 30 all torn pajamas, I'm holding the pants because the elastic is bust. And I'm thinking if the rogue takes a look at me, he'll say, see ya, you need the stuff more than me, take it back. <laughs> so yeah, I'm walking slowly. Then my wife says, wait, wait, wait. I think she's feeling sorry for me. She says, no, 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 keep going, but take the dog and go. <laughs> no, don't laugh. You didn't see my dog. Small black dog. Can fit in the palm of my hand. Looks like a lump of shit. But I will go by the rogue and say, how are you? <laughs> Nighttime, it's cold, put a jacket on. So I go, I put my jacket, got my lump of shit dog, holding my pants. I'm walking, she said, wait, I said, what? Man, she said, dirty outside, put shoes. So I go now, I put my shoes on, got my jacket, lump of shit dog, all in my pants. I'm walking, she said, wait, I said, what, you bloody idiot? In my head, right? She said, see ya, nighttime, there's dew, put a hat on. I go, put my hat, jacket, all in my pants, lump of shit dog. God, I say, I'm walking, shoes. Then she said, wait, I said, what? She said, your nose is leaking, take a hanky. <laughs> so I go, got the hanky, hanky, jacket, shoes. Hey, holding my pants, lump of shit dog. I'm walking, she said, wait, I said, what? She said, you took so bloody long, the rogue is gone.